hello students today we are starting with the html language okay so first of all what is html language i think all of you are using internet and all of you have seen anything or you can say any information on the internet so whatever you are getting on the internet is just because of this language without html you are not able to create a single page that is visible on your internet okay html stands for hypertext markup language so we will discuss the theory later today we are starting with the practical part of it okay and to create the to make the practical or to create the program in html language you need two softwares or you can say two things first one is your text editor and second one is your web browser okay text editor will help you to create the web page and web browser will help you to run that page okay so from your childhood i think you are using notepad i think all of you are familiar with this name notepad in previous classes or in your childhood you are using it as your simple text editor but now from today we will start using it as html editor okay so first of all i'll teach you how to open notepad so easiest way to open notepad is just click on this task or you can do the search bar here on this task bar you can find this search bar click here and simply type n o t e p a t as you do this you will get the link here you can use your mouse left click or you can press the enter key from your keyboard by doing this you can open your notepad in front of you okay now before typing anything if you see that uh, your font is very small if you want to make any change in the font size or style you have to click on format click here here you have two options click on the second one font now here you have to go with simple text editor that is courier new simple font style it is simplest one or you can go with arial okay and here you have to select size i think 20 is visible properly okay so now click ok now we are starting typing with the tags okay so first tag is html tag second tag is head in this head tag we have title tag now here you can write anything suppose i am writing my first web page then title close i will discuss or i will describe them later first of all i am just typing the tags now look html as i told you hypertext markup language so this is the first tag that we have to write in our notepad or you can say text editor if we write this line then only your computer will understand that you are trying to write the html page as i told you earlier we are using it or we are using this notepad as simple text editor now we have to use it as note or html editor for that we have to write this html tags and these tags are very very important or you can say they are very necessary if you want to display your data on the screen okay then in this html tag second tag is head tag now head tag is used if you want to show anything in your title bar look this one is this bar every topmost bar of every software whether you use ms word excel powerpoint anything the first topmost bar is called your title bar so in 
this HTML if you want to show anything in your title bar you have to use head tag okay and title tag is the successor or you can say in head tag we have to write title of the page that's why we are using title tag okay so this is my title of the page my first web page now in HTML you have to start tags as well as you have to close them also so head tag I have started now here I have to close it also and look this this backslash this shows that you have closed the tag look in the starting I have not written or I have not applied any of the sign just I have written head but now look here I am applying this head along with the slash or you can say backslash that means here I am closing the tag okay now after this I have to start body tag now what is the use of body tag whatever you write in between body tag it will be displayed on the main page of your on the main page of your browser okay so in this body I'm writing my name is Ritesh okay now after this body tag close okay then now I think now I think my work is finished so I have to close HTML also okay so as I told you we have started the HTML tag here we have closed it here we have started the head tag just after the title tag we have closed it look here we have started the title tag here it is closed now we have started the body tag here we have closed it so whenever you apply or whenever you write any of the tag it is compulsory to close it some tags are there you can say they are called empty tags that don't need to be closed so we will discuss them later so after finishing this you have to save this page okay and this is the most important part in making your HTML page if you make any mistake in this you will not be able to create your page properly or you will not get the HTML page okay so again look HTML tag we have started in the ending we have closed that means here we have finished with the HTML page okay head tag whatever we have to show in the title bar we have to write that in your head tag okay and whatever you want to display in the main page or you can say the body of the browser you have to write it in body tag okay now we are saving it so you can click on file and you can click on save and its shortcut key is also given here look as you press control plus s I think all of you know we have two control buttons on the keyboard you can press any control button continuously and you have to press S key shortcut key save S so I am just clicking here now, as you do this you will get this dialog box in front of you okay in this dialog box here this one is the most important thing file name so here you can write any name suppose I am giving my page okay this is the name of the file but it is compulsory to write this dot html dot html if you don't write these last five characters you will not get the html page your page will be saved simply as text page okay so if you want to make your page an html page you have to write this dot html you can give any name here this one is optional my page you can write your name your school name anything whatever you want to write you can write here but this one is important 
dot html or dot html you have to write anything it is compulsory okay now after that where you want to save this page second important thing because after that you have to run it in web browser so you must know where you have saved it or you can say address of the page should be known so for simplicity to make it simple i am saving this page on desktop okay then my page.html is the name of the file and i'm saving it on the desktop okay after this i have to click on save okay now look here my name is coming okay that means your file is saved with this name and as i told you this will be displayed on the title bar but not on this title bar in the title bar of your browser so now don't close this just minimize it using this button you can minimize your notepad okay now you have to open any of the web browser web browsers are that software which helps you to run your internet pages some well known names are i think all of you know these names google chrome mozilla firefox or you can say microsoft's internet explorer these are the well known browsers okay so here i am having google chrome in my computer look here so i have to go with this or you can say look this is my file my page that i have saved so if you want to open it in google chrome you don't need to open this just right click on this file name and search for this option open with and take your mouse pointer like this and click on the browser look i have all three google chrome internet explorer microsoft edge all are web browsers but i want to run my page in google chrome that's why i'm doing this otherwise i can just simply double click on this also okay but i want to open my page in google chrome that's why i'm using the right click then open with and google chrome okay so as you do this you will get this page in front of you now look this is your title bar the thing that we have written in the notepads head tag or you can say head tags titles tag it is visible here my first web page and whatever we have written in the body is visible here okay this is the important thing this is the thing that we have written in head tag so it will be visible to you in your title bar and this is the thing that is important for you in your body tag that is visible to you in this body okay now if you say no sir uh, i want to display my name instead of you no problem here we have this notepad opened click here again you will get it now change the name suppose my name is uh, mahesh okay then again you have made some change now so you have to save it click on file click on save okay again minimize it now here your google chrome is already opened so if you want to reflect the change jo aapne change kiya hai that you want to display you have to press the f5 key from your keyboard or you have to click on this button refresh or reload this page as you do this look mahesh is there okay if you say no sir i want to change this no problem again go to your notepad now suppose i want to write uh, here my school name saint francis school okay now again click on file click on save again minimize it here press the f5 key button from your keyboard or click on this okay look here you can see the change okay so this is the simplest web page
made by using the HTML tags. We will continue these videos in our next classes. Till then, read them properly, learn them, learn the ordering of using these tags. They have the fixed ordering. After HTML, you have to write head. If you are using head tag, in that you have to write title tag. After that, you have to close head tag. Then you have to start body. You can't put body in between head tag. Okay, so this is a proper structure, you can say. Proper structure of your HTML page. You have to follow it properly if you want to make a good, decent web page. For today, that's it. We will continue with this in our next class. Okay, till now, learn this coding properly, how to change it, how to save your file, especially after writing the file name, how to put .html and how to select the location of the file. That is the most important part of creation of web page. Okay, thank you.